Hey, hello, Aquarius. How are you doing? This is your message reading. Yes, this is your message reading, you guys. So um, don't go nowhere. All right, see what messages are here for you. Maybe something important you need to hear that's going to help you in the long run. All right, like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. Join if you'd like to be a member of my channel. New viewers, subscribe. I'd love to have you guys as a subscriber. You guys, don't forget to check my um, Fitz Benefits site out. Not my site. Don't forget to check the Fitz Benefits site out in my description box, okay? Click on that link. If that link doesn't work, go to my channel page and click on the link, and it'll take you straight to that Fitz Benefits site, okay? All right, you guys, so let's get some cards to drop. I hope I can... Um, give you something that can help you in a situation where you need help and figure things out. Okay. So let's get some cards to drop. Um, Aquarius energy romance. Oh, I'm talking about romance. Uh oh, is romance in the air for you guys? Okay. Holy Spirit, show us messages, please. Show us messages that you have for Aquarius. Show us messages that you need Aquarius to hear. Okay, what is it you need Aquarius to hear? What is it you need them to see that's going on around them? Show us messages, Holy Spirit. Show us messages that you have for Aquarius. Okay. So we have the Ten of Cups, Icy Scorpio Cancer Energy. We have the Hierophant here, Taurus Energy. The Six of Cups is here. More Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Water Energy, Strong Water. Judgment is here. Hey, the Will of Fortune is here as well. Hey, the Three of Wands, Sag Leo, Aries Energy. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo Energy. All right, so the Ten of Cups. Um, somebody's happy with you. Somebody has it's somebody you could already have a found family foundation with, or somebody wants this ten of cups with you. Okay, they want marriage, or there's somebody that wants you to know they're happy where they are. They want the marriage, they want the ten of cups with you, they're not going nowhere. Okay. Um six of cups is here. They think about you a lot. This could be a cancer energy. They're they have nostalgia when it comes to you. There's somebody from your past. So it could be either or. Um, they're your soulmate. They feel like you're their soulmate. Okay. Um, this is somebody you could have grown up with that you had a friendship with. Okay. Um, somebody you could have met at a party, anybody, but they feel like you guys grew a bond and they fell for you. And they have they think about you. You stay on this person's mind. If you're not with this person now, you stay on their mind. They're wanting to revive things with you. All right. They're going to announce this to you. If you're not with them, if you don't have a family, um, a ten of cups with this person, they're, they're going to announce to you this is what they want. All right. Um, the will of fortune is here. They feel like they're divinely connected to you. Like you two are divinely meant to be together. All right. Um, they feel like you're a gift from the divine. So they want to move forward with you in a Ten of Cups. Some of you, you're already with this person. They feel like you're a gift from the divine, that they're already with their partner, their soulmate. All right? And the one that's not with, they want the will to turn in their favor concerning you, and they're waiting. This person's been waiting. They might have been waiting a long time. You're this person's fulfillment. All right? Knight of Pentacles is here. They've been planning, strategizing, what they're going to say, how they're going to say it to you, how to offer you some type of stability to help them move forward in a Ten of Cups situation with you or just to move forward and heal things with you, all right, in the stability that they have with you already. So this could be two different situations. Somebody that you're already with, a family dynamic with, somebody that you're married to, okay, or it could be somebody that wants marriage with you and wants the ten of cups with you guys okay all right 
This is uh, um waters. Waters here. Taurus is here. You need to set boundaries though with this person. You need to set boundaries. Mean what you say to this person. Say what you mean. Um, realize your worth in a certain situation. You know, so that you know what that means. Are is this person worth you? You know, moving forward with. Realize your worth in the situation. Are they worth you moving forward with in the situation? If they put you through a lot, if they did a lot of wrong to you. And you're not married to this person. Uh, you need to, you know, are you, is this worth you, you know, dropping a level to move forward with this person, giving up some dignity to move forward with a person, all right? Mm-hmm. So everybody may know judgment. This person may, everybody may know about what this person has done to you. If they've done anything, everybody may know. So you got to, you know, what's your worth? Realize your worth in the situation. If you're married, okay, is is it worth moving forward in the marriage? You know, if if this person is trying to heal things with you, is it worth it? What have they done? You know, weigh your options out. Okay, so that's what I have for you with that. So let's move on. Okay, let me get the card straightened out here. I don't know how the world these got mixed up like. This. I had to stream the cards out, y'all. Okay, so let's get on with the messages. Okay, show us messages. Show us messages that you have for um oops. Okay, show us messages. Show us more messages that you have for Aquarius. Show us more messages that you have for Aquarius. Show us more messages that you have for Aquarius. More cards. Okay, so we have the full card. We have Aries energy here. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energies. Um, we have the Five of Wands, Sag, Leo, Aries energy. We have the Two of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energies. The Sun card here, Leo energy is here. Um, the Ten of Swords is here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, your energy. The King of Swords, Libra energy. Okay, somebody, um, yeah, somebody's coming in with another chance. Aries, they're coming in wanting you to take a leap. This person is coming in wanting to work hard at rebuilding the stability. Or this is what they're going to do. They're going to put a hard foot in there. They're going to put their foot in the grind. They're going to work hard to rebuild stability with you. Five of Wands is here. And this person may have used to be confused when it came to you, but they're no longer confused. Um, they may come in fighting for this rebuilding of stability with you. They're going to fight for it. Um, two of Pentacles are juggling all kind of ideas how to get you back. They're seven of Pentacles, they've been contemplating, thinking on um, what to do to get you back, to get another chance with you, okay? The Sun card is here, okay? Um, once it's illuminated to them on what to do to get you back, um, they're coming in to you. All right, um, or there's something that is going to be illuminated to you that you need to see. So you need to use your intuition. It could be that. Um, this person could see abundance in you, could see you you guys being abundant together and growth. Um, yeah, they could see you guys manifesting together. Hmm. Ten of Swords is here. Um, yeah, it may be, like I said, something may be needed to be illuminated to you. And whatever it is, it's got something to do with betrayal. Or some, or, or this person, they've been hurt a lot. It could be this person, they've been hurt a lot. They've been betrayed a lot, okay? Or it's going to be, that's, that could be what's going to be illuminated to you. Okay, this person could have been dealing with another air sign that betrayed them. 
And they did a lot of, they gave this person a lot of hurt and pain. And they stood their ground in the situation. And they may come in expressing this to you. This is something they may never have told you, but they're going to come in and express this to you. They're going to express some, they're going to spill some truth on you. What they've been through, they've been through a lot of betrayal and hurt. And they're going to express that to you. All right. But they're, they, they're standing their ground. They stood their ground in the situation. And also they're standing their ground when it comes to you. They made a decision about moving forward with you, getting another chance with you as well. All right. Okay. So you're going to find out some things about this Aries that's coming in. They're going to, they're going to express some things to you. They've been through a lot of hurt and pain. All right. Betrayal. Um, show us more messages that you have for Aquarius. Show us more messages that you have for Aquarius. Okay, so Aquarius, we have the Nine of Swords here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, we have the Five of Cups here. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. We have the Nine of Wands. Sag, Leo, Aries energy. The Six of Pentacles is here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The Three of Swords is here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Your energy is strong up in here. Ten of Wands. Fire, Sag, Leo, Aries energy. There you go. Um, Seven of Swords, more air. More air energy. Okay, so somebody somebody stuck on you. They can't move forward after they're worried about something. Okay? They're worried about something. Somebody is um they're missing you five of cups. They're feeling some guilt. Somebody feeling some guilt. Somebody's missing you. Somebody um could be innerly conflicted as well on what to do in this situation. Nine of Wands is here. It's a mental, it's taking its toll on this person, mentally and physically. It's a struggle for this person to hold something in. Um, six of Pentacles. Oh, they want um uh, equal give and take with you. So they're missing you. Mm -hmm. It's a struggle for them to hold this in. It's, it's a struggle for them to hide it. They may have been hiding this from you. Six of Pentacles, they, they, they want an equal give and take. Okay, they want to come in giving you attention, time, stability. And they know they're going to get that back from you. If they could get it back in your good graces, three of swords. Yeah, this person's at a loss. They're, they're, they're heartbroken without you. They may be at a distance from you. They no longer want to be separated from you. They no longer want to be at a distance from you. Ten of Wands is here. They're burdened being apart from you, being at a distance. It's burdening them. All right? And so they're going to come in and release this burden and express to you how they feel, express to you what they want. Seven of Swords is here. All right? Um, This person has been hurt a lot. Seven of Swords. Oh! Seven of Swords, they're feeding illusions to you. They're no longer going to be feeding you illusions. Ten of Swords was up there. I already did the Ten of Swords. Yeah, Seven of Swords, they're no longer going to be feeding you illusions. They've been hiding how they feel, feeding you illusions, covering the truth up, covering how they really felt up. They're no longer going to do that. They're going to come in. They're going to drop that burden of um, feeding you illusions. They're going to start expressing but it's a struggle for them to hide it. So they no longer want to do that, okay? So you got somebody coming in and speaking some truth. They're not going to hide how they feel about you no more. They're going to tell you how they feel, okay? All right, so let's move on. Um, Aquarius. Show us more messages you have for Aquarius. Holy Spirit, thank you. Show us more messages that you have for Aquarians. Show us more messages you have for Aquarius. Okay. Show us more messages that you have for Aquarius. A few more cards, please. Okay. Okay. Um, we have the lovers, Gemini energy. 
Um, we have the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. We have the Page of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. We have the Four of Pentacles here. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, we have the Ace of Wands, Sag Leo Aries energy. We have the Four of Cups here. Uh, let's get one more card. Pisces Scorpio. Okay. Oh, here it go. I have it right here. Yeah. Okay, we have um the Page of Swords energy, Gemini energy, and we have the Seven of Wands energy. Okay, Sag Leo Aries. Somebody is in love with you. Somebody sees you as their divine partner, their soulmate. Okay, you could already be married to this person. The lover's card. Okay, yeah, this person, they, they're, they're at a distance. Or it's somebody that want to heal emotional distance Um, that's between you guys. So it's either somebody is wanting to heal the emotional distance or it's somebody at a distance that move into your vicinity. They feel like they have to be closer to you, okay? Because they want this new beginning of growth. They feel like they have to be closer to you to, to get this new beginning of growth off the ground with you. If you're not with this person, that's sad energy. Four of Pentacles, they value you as a person, who you are, all right? Um, they don't want nobody else to have you. They're selfish when it comes to you. Yeah, they, they fear they're going to lose you. So they're moving to your vicinity to get a new beginning of growth to, to work on that, okay? Um, they may be codependent on you. If you are with this person, they could be codependent on you, all right? And they value. They don't want to lose you, okay? And they're not going to let nobody else have you. They don't want nobody else to have you. They, want, they hold a lot of passion for you. This is a fire sign, okay? They hold a lot of passion for you, and they want a passionate new beginning with you. They're coming in with an offer. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy coming in with an offer. Okay, Page of Swords is here. This person watches you very closely. They're possessive over you. They could be watching your social media, riding by your house. If, if this is, you know, somebody that's not with you, if they're with you, they could be watching you. They ride up under you, okay? Because they're possessive over you. They don't want nobody else to give you, um, have you. They're very um, protective when it comes to you. They're they see you as their prize, you know. All right, um, the seven of wands is here. Yeah, they may have fended you off in the past, okay? But they ain't fending you off anymore, okay? They coming in, okay? They, they're in love with you. They're coming. They're coming in quick, all right? This person, like I said, for some, they're moving to your vicinity, or you may get a visit. It may not be their movement. It may be a visit, but... Somebody feeling like they need to be in your vicinity to get a new beginning of growth. And they come and they, they're moving. They're moving to where you are. You may find out they're already in your vicinity. And they may not even be telling you. Okay. All right. So um, that's what I have for you, Aquarians. Like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. Join to be a member. Um, new viewers, subscribe. I'd love to have you guys as a subscriber. Um, check out that Fitz Benefits site, you guys. And you guys have a blessed weekend. Be safe. Enjoy that nice weather. All right. And I love you guys. All right. I'll see you next time. Be good.